Hey yo, we are back in the fridge, so you know what that means. It's TikTok time, and today we're switching it up. Instead of one recipe, we're making it and rating four viral TikTok snacks. We got Cheez Its, a cheesy sun dried tomato pastry, spicy cheesy garlic bread, and we got crispy buffalo chicken tacos for weight loss. It's about to go crazy. You know, we're using the star scale one through five. Let's see if anything stays alive. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and the reason why I didn't upload last week is because I threw my back out working out. You can see Jacqueline dragging me right here. I literally could not get off the floor as you can see in this video. So we might be moving a little bit slower than usual today, but we're still gonna grind out four amazing, hopefully amazing TikToks. Let's go ahead and review the first one. Let's go. New ingredient, homemade Cheez-Its because it's higher in Love cheez they're also crunchier. Ooh, high and crunchier. Okay. Your gentle ultra thins, choose your favorite one. Okay. Stack them up. Cut them into squares. Squares? Lay them out on parchment. Parchment. No foil. Coals with a straw. Okay. A bit of Osmo salt. Oven at 275 for 22 minutes. Okay. Take them out. And that's it. And enjoy as a snack. Okay. Listen, I think that this is gonna be incredibly easy and something that you could actually all use at home. If it works, let's try it. Alright, I got my Sargento cheese. Time to do a cheese pull. Not the cheese pool you were expecting. All right, so we've got our cheese stacked up. We got our papers over here. Now there's a lot that you can do with this. And when I say this, I mean the papers. Check it out. We got a paper back. We got a rolling paper. And we got a paper airplane. Now we got to cut the cheese. And now all we do is layer our cheese squares. This is the last straw. So let's use it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lot easier than I thought, that's for sure. Hold on, can you get close? You can see all the little layers. Get as close as you can. Guys, it's tiny. Oh my God, we could make the smallest cheeseburger on earth. Here we've got a cheese it Here, we've got Swiss cheese. Here, we've got Chris. Hey. And now we're just feeling a little salty. We're just gonna hit this with a little bit of sea salt, top them off so we can add a little bit of flavor to this. Okay, yeah, when it comes to cheeses, definitely dial that salt back as much as possible. Cheese is already salty, so I don't even know if you need it until afterwards, just saying. And 275 for two, well, 22 minutes. So we're gonna set the timer, 22, enter. And ladies and gentlemen, all right, it smells like straight cheese at City. Let's go ahead and take a look at how these guys are doing. Oh, wow. So they don't look like cheese its per se. They smell good. We gotta let them cool down and see what happens. Cue to spooky music. It is time for our first taste test of the day. Here we go. It smells incredible. They look very similar to cheese its They're very thin though. Let's just go ahead and see what the vibes are. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa, that literally tastes like a cheese it This is how I've been walking the last couple of days. Look. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this an official rating. If you guys don't know how the rating scale works, here we go. Five stars on the star scale. I don't know what side they're on. That means incredible. I would change nothing about it. Four stars mean that it is really, really good. I highly recommend, but I feel like there's a couple things we could do to make it a little better. Three stars means it's pretty good, but there's room for improvement. Two stars, I do not recommend. Not good. One star, gross. Please do not try. So in the name, in the name, in the name of Cheez-Its, uh, I gotta say, these are really good. Very thin, really, really salty though. So I would dial it back on the salt. He didn't really specify. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a three and a half. The salt needs to be dialed down, but I think that we could also add different spices and seasonings to these to even amp them up to another level. Or Jamari suggested maybe even stacking them so they're a little bit thicker when they come out of the oven. I don't know if it would work, but like I said, there's a couple things we can do to make them better. Three and a half. All right, so I gotta know, are you trying those Cheez-Its? Let me know. Let's get to the next one. This looks potentially crazy. Spicy garlic cheese bread. Okay. Ooh, ooh garlic time. Okay, we're definitely roasting. Roasting and toasting. Okay, baguette. Slice, dice, butter, got the spices. Got that roasted garlic, what? Oh. A little fresh parsley on top. Okay, this thing might be insanity. Might be the next thing for dinner every single night. I'll let you know, let's try it. You foiled my plans. Why are you looking at me like I got three heads? Let's cut them. Chopping the top off. Let's salt the garlic a little bit, beautiful. And a little drizzle of the virgin. Yes, ladies and gents. And wrap it up like a bad story. 400 degree oven. What the, oh my God, ah! For 40 minutes. All right, our garlic has finished, but I need you to listen to this real quick. 
That's really hot. It's literally still boiling in here. We're gonna let that cool down. In the meantime, let's go ahead and make our butter spread. Uh, it says half a cup. She did not put half a cup in there, so I'm just gonna cut this in half, which is gonna give me about a third stick of butter, and I'm just gonna slot it on in there. Teaspoon of chili flake. Cut the parsley like some cake. Parsley-zy. All right, so we're unraveling the garlic. Smells nice and roasty. Ooh, still hot. So we're just gonna grab that paper towel, and then we're just gonna squeeze that roasted garlic right in there, just like that. Don't forget that garlic oil. I know they didn't say that, but I know there's definitely some flavor in there. And all we're gonna do is mix. I'm not gonna lie, this is starting to smell incredible. Look at all the vibes. As you can see, we got our baguette right here. We're just gonna do what they did. We're gonna take one end. We're gonna slice that nipple of the, ba <laughs> of the baguette off. Here we go, slicing it. And this is why you need a serrated knife. That's how sharp it is. Now, we can paint. I like it, Picasso. It's mozzarella time. We're going very thin slice. That way we get a nice melt on it. 400 on the oven, hella mozzarella on the bread and into the oven we go for 10 minutes. Yeah! All right, the bread is ready. Ooh, we got a little toasted action on the sides. <gasps> I think, oh, this smells amazing. Hold up, let's put it down instead of cool, cool off. This looks promising, take a look. We're just gonna hit it, finish it off with a little bit of that parsley. Yes, yes. I say we just go in and give it a try. Y'all ready? Taste test, spooky music, big vibes. In three, two, I'm probably gonna fry my mouth, one. All right, so let's talk about this garlic bread. Me and Jamari both tried it. We're like, it's good, but it's missing something. And then I hit it with some salt and I was like, oh my God, this needs salt. And then I went back and watched the video and I didn't put salt in it. So with that being said, I feel like it is safe to say if this had salt that was able to kind of melt and just go into the bread like everything else was, a 4.5. Because there's not too much I would do to change this at all. It was very good. You get a great cheese pull, good flavor in there. I would probably roast that garlic just a little bit longer. It still had a little bit of a raw bite to it, but 4.5, good job. All right, I need to revise my score. It scratched the roof of my mouth. I'm giving it zero stars, God damn it. Next on the list, we've got, let's find out. I'm back, oh, she's back. Exams, okay, she's got exams. What is that though? Okay. Okay. All right, so it's almost like we're going like pizza vibes. The baby bell. The triple B, baby bell, two Bs, baby bell. The fold. Oh, we're doing this like a crunch wrap. Yup, a little flip, little flip action. Show me, show me. Oh my God, they didn't show me. Anyway, that looks super easy. Again, we're trying to incorporate easy, quick snacks for you guys that are gonna be enjoyable. Hopefully this is fire, let's find out. I'm on a mission, let's talk about it. <laughs> Tortilla time, let's get it. Crank that, yo! I hope none of you YouTubers plan on copying because we about to paste. First, we go chili flake. Then we go oregano. The issue I got with you is you're holding my friends hostage. So therefore, I got to slice through the fishnet and break out my homegirl, Minnie Mouse. I got to keep it a stack. I've never had baby bell cheese, but I'm down to try it. That's so chewy. Ew. Relax, relax. I know it's just wax. All we do, we peel, we reveal, and we steal the show. And now we fold up. Wait a minute, we almost forgot our sun-dried tomatoes. I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna grab a couple little slices. She had a whole one. I do not have whole ones. I've just got, like I said, some slices. And now we're just gonna go ahead and crimp it just like she did. So one, I'm not a pro at this, just for the record. Three, four, five, six. That's a chubby boy. Kind of press it down a little bit. It's a lot of tortilla. It's a lot of tortilla. Like my like my grandma would say, it's a lot of tortilla in there. I don't know where the R comes from, but here we go. On to our skillet. And then we'll just crank that up on a nice medium heat because we don't want it to burn. We need that cheese to melt. And then we're just topping it off. Hey yo, all we gotta do is wait. All right, and we're flipping. We got a little seal action going on. So we're gonna go ahead and let that melt, but I gotta be real with you guys. I'm gonna be honest. I do not like the smell. Like it's like low key, like ugh, like making me gag. So we'll we'll see what happens though. Okay, I'm not sure what I was smelling earlier that grossed me out, but these don't smell bad. So we got the top toasted, bottom toasted. Let's try to do the cheese pull like she did. Okay, we got a little cheese pull action. All right, so I'm assuming it's gonna taste like a pizza. Let's try it. 
All right, let's cut to the chase. All right, I judged a book by its cover, and by cover, I mean the smell. I'm not sure if it was the pan just getting a little too hot because it's Teflon. I don't know what the smell was, but that was actually really, really good. I would make that again. Obviously, you could add little things to it to spice it up, so I can't give it a five star, but I will give that a four and a half. It was very simple. It was tasty. The cheese was perfect. The texture was great, and you could just spice it up however you want to bump it up to that five. So four and a half stars. Highly recommend that snack. Super easy. Great job. All right, so now that the roof of my mouth is literally incinerated, we're gonna go ahead and start the last recipe. Let's get it. I mean, this looks incredible. So for weight loss, how? Now we get, now I gotta watch for real. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, corn, I've never done corn, I've never, air fried corn flakes? Never done it. And this is easy, got that low carb. All right. Bro's got it down. If if I can make that and that's for weight loss, we lit, y'all. I don't know what else to say. My mouth hurts. All right, first things first, we're going in with some chicken tendies. Just gonna glop them in. Don't get on my wood. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and top it off with some buttermilk. Go ahead and get everything nice and covered. And now we're going in with our spices. Look at me, look at me real quick. There's certain things you need to measure in life and the spices that go into here. You can eyeball it. Look, watch, ready? We'll do about a teaspoon. And when I say a teaspoon, I actually I have no idea how much that is, just so y'all know. I'm just eyeballing it, like I know what'll taste good. There we go, equal amount of garlic powder, and then he did some pepper. And now we mix, get it over all that chicken, split them up. All right, now we're doing something I've never done. We're going in with some corn flake, and I'm gonna go a little heavy just cause I'm gonna crush some of these up. And you might be asking yourself, how? How are you going to crush these up? I don't know, with my fist? Let's, I mean, we can do whatever we want here. You don't have to get fancy with a mortar and pestle. We can just go in like this, break them up a little bit. I know I'm not gonna want a full cornflake on my chicken. What's interesting though, hold up, hold up. Play that spooky music because I have something, I have something you might find interesting. How is it that there's a chicken on the box of cornflakes and we're just so happening to fry? Mandela effect. All right, and then we gotta match the energy from the batter, so you know what that means. We're going in with some, some smoked pap, we're going in with some garlic powder, and then we're going in with some black pepper, just like that, and then we hit it with a mix. Okay, so check me out. We just gotta get a little bit of that excess buttermilk off, then we go straight into that corn flake, give it a dab, and then we're gonna flip. I'm gonna cover this pat on the back. Great job, great job. And that is, I suppose, a corn flake chicken tender. So we're just gonna repeat until we're all full. All right, we got some corny chicken, as you can see, and we're about to throw this in a toaster oven. 400 degrees, 12 minutes, let's go. While our chicken is air frying, we're gonna do some very thin slice of our lettuce. My big knife's dirty, so yes, I'm gonna use a serrated knife, who cares? Let's go. Perfect, works just as good. Yeah, dig. And 12 minutes later, not only do we have all of our toppings, but we've got our corn fried chicken. Hold up, this, I mean, it sounds crispy. All we're gonna do is pop them into this bowl real quick. I'm gonna do two right now, just because I don't want them to get soggy. So we got two chickens and I made some homemade buffalo sauce right here. If you want the recipe for that, check this video out. We're just gonna toss it in here a little bit, coat them up. Oh boy. See, now I'm getting excited because this right here might be crazy. And then we just give them a little a little toss, okay? I mean, at that point, all we're gonna do, we're gonna take our buffalo chicken, pop them down on a warm tortilla like that. Then we're gonna hit the side, a little bit of lettuce, just like this, some nice fine shredded lettuce. Little fresh Colby Jack, baby. Listen, I know I'm using Hidden Valley Ranch right now. Don't judge me. I didn't have time to make my ranch. It's not in the fridge. Just gonna hit it with a little boom, 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 just like that. Ladies and gents, you hear the spooky music, you see the fold. It is time for the taste test. Apparently, crispy buffalo chicken tacos for weight loss, three, two, one. I mean, what can I say? That's fire. All right, so I made one more just so you could see what I'm talking about right here, right? Because it's kind of touted as a crispy chicken. Ready? Listen, listen for the crispiness. Here we go. It's not really there. All right, listen, so you heard there wasn't really any crunch, but I can appreciate what the creator was going for. They try to make this healthy, and I have to say, it is a lot easier to make this than, you know, battering it in the flour or whatever. I would probably actually do this again just because it made it so easy, and the air fry method, it's not, you don't have the oil to deal with. I actually like it. I would recommend it. There's no crunch there, so I can't give it a five, but me personally, buffalo, ranch, some cheese, lettuce, like, you can't really go wrong, so I'm gonna give this a 4.5. Only thing that could bring it up 
is if somebody found some way to make this a little bit more crispy, that way it lives up to the name. There you have it. Guess what? We're in the fridge. So what did we learn today? We learned that on TikTok, there are at least four snacks that you should try and you can tweak them however you want. That last one, the crispy buffalo ranch chicken taco thing, that was fire, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Hey, if you stuck around this long, I appreciate you. I love y'all. Please scroll down if you haven't done so already. Click that like button, click the subscribe button, show some love in the comments. I reply to almost everyone. Appreciate y'all. My name is Farnham. This is more seasoning. My back is killing me because I threw it out last week and we're out. Pow. Throw some D's on it. Just bought a Cadillac. Oh, hold up, what else we got? We got some. Uh -oh. Your birthday was in May. Oh, June or July? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I heard you were gossiping. I know he must have heard. What we got? You're falling behind. You better. Come on, you knew that one. I was talking to my boy Ken. He said that barbecue. Woohoo. That's a good one. Come on, you got to give me credit on that one. Oh, God, I'm in such a pickle right now. I live in Tampa. We out.